Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm DIY Holic and I share all kinds of craft tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to make these custom doormats with just a few supplies. For this project, you will need a blank Hoyer doormat, Flex Seal, or any brand of liquid rubber sealant spray of the colors of your choice, and freezer paper. First, I went on Cricut Design Space to create a design for the mat. I like making templates of the objects I'll be working with, so I added a square from the shape section and changed the size to 30 inches wide by 18 inches long to match the dimensions of the doormat. Then I added my text, so I typed welcome with my favorite font named Goldie Rainbow. You can download it from default.com for free if you're using it for personal use, or they also offer a license for commercial use as well. Next, I searched for a daisy image to incorporate into the design that would work for spring. I found this one that I thought was perfect, so I resized the daisy and duplicated a couple of times and added them to the upper left and bottom right corner to surround the text. After adjusting the images, I selected the three flowers from each corner and grouped them individually. Before you cut your material, don't forget to hide the rectangle since we're only using it as a template to help us size our elements accordingly. The material I'll be using to create the stencils is freezer paper. You can find this at any grocery store for super cheap. Freezer paper has a shiny and a matte side, so what you want to do is place a shiny side down on the Cricut mat. The width of the roll that I got was a little bigger than 12 inches, so I just trimmed it down with a rotary blade to fit inside the mat. To make sure your freezer paper doesn't move around while your Cricut machine cuts, I use a brayer tool to press the material flat on the mat and to remove any air bubbles. And to be extra safe, I do add a few pieces of painter's tape around the edges of the mats. Again, this will also help everything stay in place. I repeated the same prepping process for all of the three cutting mats. Once you're ready to cut, on Cricut Design Space, set your base material to wax paper with more pressure. Today I'll be using my Cricut Explore 3 machine, but any cutting machine should work to cut the freezer paper. When it's done cutting, carefully remove the freezer paper stencils from the mat and weed out any pieces if needed. If your design has any small pieces, don't throw them away just yet because you might need them later on. Before placing the stencils on the coir mat, I went over it with a lint roller. Then I started by aligning the welcome stencil first and adding the small pieces in between the letters and adhered it onto the doormat with a heat press set about 315 degrees Fahrenheit. If the small pieces are still not staying in place completely, take some pins to place them down. Then I moved on onto the next stencils and repeated the same process. Thank you. 
Remember we saved these pieces earlier? Well, this is where it comes in handy. I am planning on painting these daisies white and the circle will be a different color. So in the meantime, it will protect that section from getting sprayed on. Once I pressed all of the stencils, I covered the gaps with freezer paper scraps that I was left with and painter's tape. You don't want those spots to get sprayed on. For this step, make sure you're doing it outdoors or in a well-ventilated area since we'll be using Flex Seal Spray. I went ahead and covered the daisies to protect them from the black spray since we'll be using white for those. I'm using the black Flex Seal to spray the welcome stencil. I thought that would help it stand out the best. A tip when spraying it on your surface is to always spray from a downward angle with small strokes, don't spray it back and forth like you normally would with spray paint. You don't want any of the black spray going through the edges of the freezer paper. I did two to three coats, leaving each coat a dry in between. Now repeat the same process, but this time I'm covering the stencil we sprayed on and leaving the other ones alone. For the daisies, I'm using this white rubber flex that I got from Walmart and added three coats to get full coverage. In and out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, you seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. After it was done drying, I carefully removed the freezer paper to reveal the design. I decided to take the daisy freezer paper stencils that I weeded earlier to act as a template to paint the inside of the circles. I used pins to place the images down and a yellow multi-surface acrylic paint with a sponge to apply a few coats. Remove when it's completely dry and you are left with a beautiful custom doormat. These can be fully customizable whether you want to make any for the holidays, family last names, or even funny quotes. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. If you aren't already, make sure you're subscribed to my channel for weekly DIY videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time with a new DIY. Oh,